Well, I don't know, Leif. I still think I can do better. Still hankering for that black, huh? Yeah. Look, how come first thing in the morning me and you don't take off and try to figure out some way to catch him? I told you, ain't no use unless we crease him. Well, I'm telling you flat out, you crease that animal and the whole deal's off. You're telling me how to run my business. Have two grown men nothing better to do than argue? This is man talk. You stay out of this. I, I notice there is only one bed in the house. You had best come and help me prepare something so that we may sleep comfortably tonight. Well, you sleep where you want. You can have the whole dang hut to yourself. Me, I'm going to bedroll outside. Now, skedaddle. I'm sick of looking at you. Go on. If you had no call to talk to her like that. It's my wife. I'll talk to her any way I please. Please. Show me what it is that I do. I know that I, that I have a viperous tongue and a most evil temper. But thou knowest in thy infinite wisdom that my heart is otherwise. Thou knowest also that my dearly beloved is not as he seems. He needs me. Sorely. Show me the way to his heart. No, not for my sake alone, but for the sake of his child within me soon to be born. The hurt. Promise thee will not tell Leif? But why not, ma'am? He, he's your husband. It is unbecoming for a woman to hold the burden of a child over a man. I still think you ought to tell him. No. The child will soon be here, and if my husband does not wish me to stay before it is born, I shall leave without telling him. Please keep thy silence. If that's the way you want it, ma'am. 